お待たせいたしました。Thank you for waiting, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to begin our next session. The presenter, Mr. Morohashi,、uh, thinks that、uh, Ruby and、uh, test drive development、uh, should be、uh, experienced with a lot of、uh, joy. And、uh, he is active as a programmer for Cookpan,、uh, Raspberry recipe book,、uh, cucumber, and、uh, his favorite method is、uh, innumerable sharp part partition.、Uh, innumerable partition. Mr. Morohashi, please. Thank you for a kind、uh, introduction. As was introduced, I am going to、uh, speak under the title of Big and Loyal Refractoring on the User Foundation. My name is Morohashi. Allow me to be repetitive. Moro is Twitter name. And、uh, Moro will be used、uh, to publicize.、Uh, What I'm going to speak about. I am a member of a good part、uh, company and、uh, I've been writing Rails for a couple of years. And、uh, as was introduced, going back to Rails 3, which is some years back, in 2012, I published、uh, the results of、uh, this and also Cucumber test、uh, framework. Uh, book was published and that was、uh, also introduced. Ruby and the TDD are things of、uh, interest for me to be engaging for years. And、uh, what I'm going to talk about is、uh, reconstruction of、uh, user foundation, which is、um, an initiative in Cookpad. So in、uh, June, I mean, in、uh, April, so、uh, we were publicizing、uh, through a blog,、uh, and、uh, you can see what our ideas are. So, I would like to、um, sort of uh, re uh, look at this particular subject matter, which is to make user foundation construction. Uh, a fun, but not just a laughing kind of fun, although it, is, it may be a part of it, but uh, we are, uh, we all participants are vividly, joyfully participating forward lookingly in the project. In that sense, I would like to、uh, touch upon my、uh, subject matter today. Why、uh, I think these are important things. It's not just uh, uh, somebody's、uh, record, but uh, refactoring. Uh, joyfulness has a business value because it has、uh, a lot to do with the productivity. And the Mats Motsan also mentioned in 2012,、uh, I think Mats Motsan said something similar. And we are not machine. So when we accomplish things, motivation is very important. And、uh, motivation is not something to, to be looked upon lightly, but something important. And、uh, I really believe in so. So, from a different、uh, perspective, last year or so, Google. Surveyed highly productive teams and discovered that this is、uh, an important、uh, factor that is uh, uh, an environment which makes、uh, team members、uh, more active, more alive, that means more、uh, productive. And、uh, this leads me to the next slide of、uh, Modern Agile, which uh, has uh, four. Uh, major dimensions, which、uh, 
has to uh, make safety, uh, safety meaning a safety uh, member, safe member as a, as a group member, prerequisite. And uh, also, oh, deliver value uh, continuously through experiment and uh, rapid uh, learning. So those things will make people awesome. So this is really uh, a proof that uh, um, what I am talking about uh, is an important uh, concept. And uh, this uh, condition or situation where people feel fun in doing their work, uh, writing code and doing uh, daily work, so in making software, fun is a very important factor. Joyfulness is a very important factor. How we can possibly reconstruct or recreate user foundation? I think I will discuss this uh, topic uh, in terms of three uh, aspects. So code writing, coding, uh, not just by myself, but uh, by teamwork. And uh, it's not just a team, but the uh, team also has its um, echo system. That means that the non-team members uh, also uh, harmonize uh, their work in Cookpad. Value cannot be delivered unless we uh, accomplish the, these three uh, stages that involves everybody from code writing to team development uh, to team work um, in harmony with um, or, or collaborating with uh, outside people uh, together delivering value. So, sorry for the small letters, but uh, flexible user foundation the, that is to face with uh, Rails uh, service layer. You have to be careful in terms of what, thinking about what to do, but when it comes to doing actual things, because it's a restructuring, reconstruction, uh, simple things, uh, but sometime, some years ago, you know, to make blogs and, and uh, uh, you have mail address and the password um, to be inputted and then the management uh, uh, screen can be configured. But today, if you want to face this uh, task, you, you have to try not to give trouble to uh, users. And uh, thanks uh, to this uh, Simple um, questions, I mean, issues are no longer uh, left. Uh, we have lots and lots of people who are using uh, it. It's uh, different from 10 years ago and the uh, present time. And uh, that is the reason why we really have to pay, pay attention not to give trouble to the current users, because we have a variety of concepts and the data structures have to be simplified, organized, to uh, make the foundation of uh, future uh, uh, aspect. And the recipe for the world's largest uh, Rails uh, monolith is uh, what uh, we are uh, presenting uh, to the community. So you have to be conscious to become joyful, enjoyable. And uh, difficult things uh, not just uh, solving difficult uh, uh, issues uh, with um, fronts uh, upon your face. Uh, that is not uh, the right approach. You have to uh, sort of uh, organize yourself uh, so that you, you cope with, um, tackle with uh, difficult issues uh, with uh, joy and, and happiness. And uh, on the Right hand side on the top, programmer's left best friend. That means a fast, robust, key messages best friend uh, is something which is uh, written enjoyable, Ruby. Understandable. Not understandable, but uh, fun, Ruby. So, in uh, 
early publications on, on Ruby, uh, this uh, was very made clear that uh, fun, uh, pleasure, is the number one goal of uh, programming, gang, programming language, which is the first language in the world that did so. And uh, Rails uh, on the top um, uh, framework um, on the top, and the cookpad is uh, made. But the Rails probably, in daily uh, routine work, was started uh, 10 years ago or so. I have been uh, working in this uh, area, uh, writing Ruby uh, 11 years, but uh, 10 years ago, Rails, Rails was uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, a powerful tool which can uh, make you uh, able to make, do anything, but that's not necessarily the, the situation. So Active Record AR is a, mo is a model, uh, is a part of, uh, uh, based upon this uh, Rails, user class, uh, actually more than 3,000, which is too many. So even though it is a legacy code, but the legacy means, implies, that uh, negative uh, things, uh, aspects, as, uh, as well as the, the legacy in the sense that uh, because of our legacy, we are able to continue involving ourselves in the development of uh, uh, our variable software. So everybody uh, makes their best efforts uh, in the given condition situations so that uh, it continues to uh, play the role of being a legacy. legacy. So this has positive as well as negative uh, aspects. Ruby is dead. Oftentimes people say uh, Rails is uh, dead. Also sometimes uh, people say, but this is uh, this has to be looked upon, looked uh, in in the context which I have just given. So you have to carefully uh, apply this principle. For instance, Rails is dead sometimes. Our user, RB user class, three thousand. Uh, Lines, large, lots and lots of writing, and in order to divide them into smaller portion, laser, hanabi, Rails issues are oftentimes solved uh, by these frameworks, which is uh, a good concept. But uh, Rails application code uh, uh, I have written tells me that uh, good code has to be written. So our current user foundation uh, uh, supports good code writing, solid code writing, uh, the good practice. So service layer uh, needs to be introduced in our business model. So service uh, layer introduction is actually being done. And uh, a feeling which I have uh, gained through attempting this uh, this uh, upper rec record uh, alone uh, cannot be cannot uh, handle the situation where multiple uh, programming uh, needs to be done uh, so that uh, controller can be wisely uh, used to uh, keep these uh, entities uh, separate as well as being integrated. So. Uh, uh, Teams uh, programmer uh, discusses uh, oftentimes the difficult issues so that uh, uh, we write code uh, carefully, politely, and the value project is uh, often done. And mail address and, for instance, uh, phone number registration uh, is something which you can do too. The mail address uh, string. For instance, this is not just a simple string, but uh, phone number or uh, mail address uh, becomes a value object. Uh, what happens in that sense? Then a new uh, discovery takes place. So, user uh, registration, check in registration uh, domain, which is incomplete, which is a work in process um, a set of data. 
but you, uh, it's not uh, uh, registering or keeping, storing the such data, such user, but instead, Rails uh, makes a web app application, uh, then this uh, registration resource can be handled uh, properly or more suitably. And uh, before uh, the sort of a domain, uh, before and after the registration, I think um, our original context uh, is uh, very important so that we can return to that original uh, context. That means that we Burst, uh, burst class uh, object can be handled uh, as to the, the navigation path. And then the routine uh, considers uh, this uh, as a resource, uh, the, the user registration uh, by email. And uh, uh, we start uh, to recreate the, the user in this uh, new application so that uh, executable code can be written. So Rails, it's not Rails, not we design in team th through while discussing and uh, that makes uh, code writing uh, enjoyable. So I mentioned the team earlier. So I write whatever the code assigned to me. Uh, and also the team sharing is important. So we try to improve the coordination of the team. And what you know, or what I know, has to be carefully uh, made into package. But we need to do it carefully. The operation of the team is now under discussion. Our team, uh, we have core team, four members, new graduate, and freelance rubyist, one of them. And then user support and QA. Like for user foundation, we have a domain expert and myself. These are four members we have in our team. And uh, in order to improve the operation, there are many practice. So I pick these two at the start of the team. So the retrospective and uh, estimation and planning. So retrospective, we'll look at what we have done so far. And uh, based on the feedback, we will decide incrementally what we should do going forward. One impression we had from this exercise is burn down chart. We uh, have often in the Agile. Every week, we make progress, maybe one by one. However, we don't know if we can reach the goal. People who are involved in the Agile development will know very well. But for me, I, I just realized naturally uh, about these issues. And I proposed using this. And team members were convinced. And they think this graph is very good. And that was pretty good for me. And also, we also introduced the internal practice, like smartphone application team. Uh, there's a, like, a meeting where like domain expert or service planner will have the opportunity to uh, like operate the application. And the feedback, they were going to like go through one by one. And Maybe we can look at outside and we can pick up whatever looks good. And in retrospective exercise, like, like keep, to keep try, uh, we often forget try. So about this issue of forgetting try, we decided to paste it on a uh, like signboard, Kanban. Uh, this was proposed in the team. So once you know it, it's not very really, like difficult. But personally, 
uh, when we decided to put this try on the board, this was my first uh, like trial. And uh, the, uh, what I even was not aware of was posted, which was very good. So this was quite fun uh, that, you know, as uh, we practice more, uh, we will master more. And looking back, the, uh, the fun of writing code and the fun of team development, the activities are different. However, if you look at structure, they are very similar. Like whatever was available uh, as a code or whatever was uh, done as a team, we just look back and discuss what was happened. And after understanding that, we will consider what's going on in the future. So writing a code like Rails or Cookpad code, uh, we can learn from the difficulties in the past and function what they wanted to achieve in the past. Uh, what was the function that they wanted to achieve in the past? And by learning that, we can just utilize those experiences for the future. And like even the issue we have is the result of the past uh, like effort. So we can even look at those things uh, so that we can learn from there. And team, uh, this is true with the team. Like look, by looking back, we can uh, like utilize for the future. And there are some similarity between even behavior or in the team, in the team. So whatever we made in a team, well, this is user foundation, so we need to use together with other people. And for this, well, what I can tell you with my passion is when we started this, there were not so many things. Like we know a lot, we knew a lot. In my previous job, well, I learned from a book, like the programmer and the diff other people, other ordinary people. Well, we cannot achieve any value. And I was quite convinced. However, even though we were aware, still it was different from what I could do. And or after I did, and after I joined Cookpad, writing code is my job description. And we have the people of other job description. And together with them, we have to deliver our value. This is fun, and this is important. And this is my motivation. So this is what I have felt after joining Cookpad. So uh, together with them, uh, them, we need to deliver the value to the user. And user foundation, in the per perspective of user foundation, we used to register by use, uh, uh, like maybe mail address. But when we make advancement of the service, the user can be enrolled from different paths. And this was made uh, like a patchwork. So. When you make a function of the communication, uh, you have to consider the settlement as well, or payment as well. But from the perspective of user foundation or user infrastructure, well, we can consider what will be most flexible for users. And for that, what I have learned from different perspective is like the user's condition is very complicated and we need to try to integrate to make it more consistent. And the, the changes or deployment can be aligned. This is very complicated and probably, well, you can just look at uh, as an image. This complicated situation was necessary and by accepting that, the code writers or planners has to understand 
And this is maybe uh, like a sort of ideal flexible user foundation. And by doing this, this well, as an entire cook pad, we tried to make things more uh, easy and uh, more closer to whatever we, we wanted. So working in this team is very fun. And in addition, what I myself want is in this structure, I want to keep writing the code. And writing code, as I mentioned earlier, the current code is quite complicated. And this code has to be deployed for these users. And because this is so much uh, work, so hard work, we cannot do it overnight. And uh, technically, we struggle a lot. However, like maybe we are making the legacy for next generation. However, we need to do our best. So I knew that you know we have to. It has to take everyone. And uh, it is very difficult. However, by engaging everyone, um, we can have fun. So that's why we want it. I wanted to have fun, like consciously or on purpose. And the fun is very important. Of course, motivation. With motivation, we can increase the productivity or efficiency. But fun is the concept of Ruby. Fun or tanoshi itself has a value. So of course the fun as a tool is important. However, uh, like we want to create something with Ruby, with fun. And if we can deliver value finally, uh, working with fun that would be very uh, ideal. And I enjoy. I personally enjoy. So the fun or tanoshi, we thought like we have to uh, more uh, give value to this uh, fun or joyfulness. Thank you for your kind attention. Now we'd like to entertain questions. Please kindly raise hand should you be interested. Hearing none. Anything which you like to add, uh, Malai-san? I really wish that we can work with fun, joyfully. We must uh, make business out of what uh, we are doing through collaboration good teamwork environment, and that creates productive um, life. Let's give him a big applause once again. Thank you.